Hi guys, welcome to day 190 of the big vlog. I'm just now Van Damme and again I'm in my little corner where I probably should be. Um, what can I say, I'm probably somebody that should stay in the corner. So, just a quick one today, but I wanted to have a little tiny mini rant. Just a small one. Like, itty bitty small, tiny. So let's set the scene. Moved into a house, it's become, you know, home, and settling quite nicely, and didn't have this problem at the flat. I think you know what I'm talking about. Well, you probably don't at all, actually. It's hardly a clue, is it? Door-to-door -door salesman. I mean, what is it? in this day and age that makes people think if they knock on my door and talk to me for any more than 30 seconds I'll suddenly think oh, wow I really need to buy something from you I really need that thing because if I don't get it from you right now and give you all my details then the, the offer won't be any good wake up people have you ever thought for just a second that there are many ways to find out if you're getting a good deal. For example, this guy that was at our door yesterday, he was trying to, he was from a company called Enpower. Uh, if you're not in the UK, you probably don't know what Enpower is, potentially, but they're an energy supplier, they do the gas, electricity, and uh, bullshit, okay? Basically, this guy was going on about how great Enpower are, and how much cheaper they are, and how much they could save us money. All the kind of things where you think, hmm, now I know there's a lot of websites I could probably use to find out if you're talking the truth or not. Now luckily, I had, I had this. Now if I just point out one thing, when I arrived home, he was already talking to my partner, okay, my girlfriend. So I could hear him being quite confident and assertive and uh, as soon as I arrived on the scene, he kind of changed his tune a bit. He he was showing on a little tablet PC, not this small, but a bigger one. And he, he kind of looked a bit more nervous. Now the main question I asked was, what's all this then? <laughs> that was pretty much my only question. Um, and basically, while he was talking to me, trying to convince that NPAL was a really, really good thing, and we should immediately switch over to them, and how much money we could save, um, I just started using my phone. Just kind of tapping around, scrolling about, doing bits and pieces. I mean, I was actually looking at Facebook, but that's that's beside the point. He decided that he was going to sort of ask me, was I was I searching things on the internet? I said, yeah, just going to see what people think of you. So he, he said, um, so do you always believe what people tell you? And I said, no, I'm using the internet. It's a valuable source of independent information. Obviously, there are some people that make things up, but I know of a very good couple of sites where I can actually check up what the opinion of the masses are of your company. Because you keep telling me you're fantastic, so I'm going to find out. Uh, you're a complete waste of time. Uh, customer service is negligible. You're too expensive. Uh, try and find somebody outside hours. So, yeah, we won't be using you. If people tell you something's good, okay, if people tell you, not show you, but tell you something's good, they're probably lying, okay? They're probably not being honest. Now, I'm sure him walking around going door to door is not something he does out of the goodness of his heart. He's trying to sell stuff. He's trying to sell stuff. Sorry about that. Um, I'm off to uh, just chill out for the rest of the evening and get some sleep before I travel up to London tomorrow to meet two uh, other YouTubers. So. Don't forget that you are the snared, and you have been. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.